Welcome to another week of performance review videos where I'll go where I go over some of the most interesting videos over the last week in terms of analytics and try to reason as to what's going on, what's going bad, and perhaps even inform you of the series that we're dropping. All right, let's look at some of these other videos, right? These are a little bit too new. I think that uh, I want to talk about the ReZero episodes later. These are a little bit too young. They haven't really matured yet, but... Uh, Sure, why not? You know what? Let's go look at this video first. The SAO All Openings and Endings. So this has been a project that Sir Gregor has been working on for a long time. Props to him. It's still not perfect because if you look here, that this is still blocked in, uh, I think, Russia only. There's a lot of different things that happens with um, opening reactions. In most opening reactions, people don't really care about blocking it. And they will simply demonetize, as in they'll take your share of the ad revenue, which is perfectly fine. You want to do that? Go ahead. All I care about is having the video public. But in those cases where it's not possible, you know, there needs to be some other edits that needs to be done. And Sir Gregor has figured out a way to edit the openings and endings so that we don't have videos where it's cut, right? It's annoying for an opening or a music reaction where it's constantly cut. I understand, right? The previous solution to that was to cut them so we can monetize the openings. But at the same time, it's kind of a poorer experience for the watcher. So moving forward, I'd prefer to have mega opening ending reactions, right? To have every opening in one video. And what this does is a couple things. Uh, most important thing is the spoilers. I hate getting spoiled when we're already a season in and I see the visuals and I can theorize already in my head and make some guesses and it kind of sucks, right? But if I were to watch every opening and ending immediately, the visuals may spoil. However, it's out of context spoilers where I can't really piece it together. And by the time we get there, it's not really going to matter for us. So that's one pro. The other thing is, and again, I always refer back to, you know, my second channel in terms of uh, the purpose of these big opening reactions and stuff. What a lot of the times you want to do in terms of the YouTube analytics is to get into a specific algorithm. And what that means is try to get to that specific audience, right? The purpose of these Beyblade opening videos was to get into the Beyblade algorithm, as in get into you know, the Beyblade audience. The, uh, the algorithm loves, you know, these opening videos. And again, it's not the algorithm, it's the audience, because these are things that everyone can watch. You don't have to watch every episode of Beyblade to enjoy this. These are simply openings and endings that everyone can watch, low barrier of accessibility, right? These videos usually go viral, and then the algorithm has an idea of who that audience is, and you want to then, you know, use that to your advantage and pump out videos. The second channel is doing so well that the average viewership is honestly surpassing my main channel. Just look at the numbers here. Look at the sub counts, and realize that I haven't even published over 100 videos here. This is not even at 2,000 subs. Yet the average viewership is encroaching on 3,000 right now. Why is that? Because this is a result of my experiment where you're focused on one specific niche and you deliver every day on a specific niche, giving good signals to the algorithm over and over and over. And the algorithm feels more comfortable to send your videos out to a wider, broad audience compared to my main channel where it's the exact opposite. Horizontal investment, variety topic. There's pros and cons for both, but I'm glad that my second strategy is working well. Anyways, the purpose of this SAO opening was to do the similar thing with this. I was hoping that we could get juiced up by having an SAO opening and ending and new tourists would show up that's never seen my channel before and would check out the SAO reactions, but hey, it's not bad. I'm just glad that it got visible. Let's look at the actual analytics though. Probably not uh, old enough to get actual good stats, right? In terms of like, you know, are there new people showing up? What I care about is this tab, but obviously you can't really see the returning and unique viewers. It's too early, but it's all right. We'll revisit that later on. Next up, uh, what do I want to check out? Uh, these are all pretty regular, you know, the SAO videos. You know what? Let's check out the SAO video. The SAO is barely hanging on and it's perfectly fine, right? SAO is perfectly fine hovering at this type of viewership, right? If you look at the typical engagements, it's going to be 1.2 to 2.7K in that period. 2,000 is definitely not great, but it's also not bad. It's doing its purpose as a community series. And the reason why SAO right now is not competing with ReZero, despite both of them being community series, well, I think there's a bigger ReZero community on YouTube. 
and it's more active right now because we're entering into season three. And SAO was pulled a long time ago. We're now getting into season four content. This has been going on in our channel for like a year, but you got to realize that our channel changes every month. New people come in, old people go out. And a lot of people are getting served these SAO videos that they never commented on. That's why it's kind of a problem right now. Still, you know, fucking around with SAO. So it's my best interest to finish SAO as fast as I can. And then, while this new audience from Zero is in, make a new community poll and get them to vote on a show so that they have a reason to stick around after ReZero ends. And that's how you maximize audience retention. Let's look at the audience tab. Still not enough to see it, but as you can see, heavily dominated by my existing audience and it's going to be mostly returning viewers. Next up. <laughs> Y'all are just going to watch anything about Roche today, bro. You fucking... I'm just reading off a fucking chart. And that's the sad thing. One second. I have to pay Sir Gregor money to edit this content for SAO. And look at the amount of likes that SAO gets, 189. I can just read a stupid fucking chart about random bullshit facts about Yuki from Roche today. And it's going to get more views and more engagement. Isn't that sad? It makes me wonder why I'm even bothering paying Sir Gregor to edit these videos. I feel like I should just drop SAO, but again, nah, we don't have to do that. Looking good. It's just that's just the power of Roche today, man. It's just it's just the power of fucking Roche today, dude. It's so stupid. <laughs> but you know, I don't determine what people want, right? People determine what people want. It's for me to figure out why that's happening and deliver on that. Let's see. You know, let's look at this ReZero video. I wanna also reflect back on our original ReZero video, but um man, look at the uh, first of all, let's look at the likes here, right? Compare the amount of likes that ReZero gets versus any other video. The only series right now that can compete with the amount of likes that we get is Roche today. We're getting over 500 likes, bro. This is insane. Let's look at the analytics for the headpad episode. Yeah, it's the classic of like, you know, people are watching for longer because they just enjoy the content, right? And if you look at the engagement bar here, it is above the top layer of this gray graph. And this gray area is supposed to be where the typical performance is. Right now, it's above typical retention because obviously people just care about ReZero My Content. Let's look at the audience tab. Is there enough people? Nah, not yet. But obviously, it's going to be more my community showing up for this shit rather than completely new tourists. Doesn't mean that new tourists aren't showing up. It's just that obviously, my, my Isekai audience is eating this shit up. Let's look at maybe the endings. So here's an ex interesting example where... Sometimes, uh, they won't block your video. So there's minimal edits in this video. I didn't have to quote Sir Gregor to make this video because sometimes uh, some openings, some copyright holders are less anal about whether or not a video can be visible. Instead, they'll just take the monetization. It's like, go ahead. You want the money off of this, you know, ending video? Go for it. I don't give a fuck. The point of this video is not to make money. The point of endings and openings videos is to go viral invite a bunch of tourists in that is interested in that specific content and then for them to watch that content. So it's all right. But obviously these opening and ending reactions are not going viral as I hoped. It is what it is though. Still, you know, doing fantastic in terms of performance, but like it's, it's doing well, but it's not really my plan was to go viral with these openings and endings. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. What happens if I do this shit, right? Let's look at this. ReZero opening and ending reaction. I'm about to get triggered so hard, bro. <sighs> 58,000 views two months ago. Two weeks ago, 15k views. What's this guy's channel? Bro, like, how the fuck does a channel with 110 videos? Let's look at his fucking social blade. Like, I am busting my ass out, getting 1.3 mil per month right now and still fucking climbing. I haven't even peaked yet. We're still going. Then we have these other fucking channels that are fucking half, less than half, yet they get bailed out by this shit. I just... Shit, like... It just makes me so mad. It just makes me so mad. Sonny P, here's another guy four months ago, does the same fucking shit. 91k, I don't care. What are you fucking getting this month? I'm fucking 
fucking tripling this guy. And it doesn't matter. Because it's all bullshit luck at the end of the day. It's just a bunch of fucking... I hate this shit, bro. I hate this shit so much. I told you I'm about to get fucking triggered. I told you I'm going to get fucking triggered as soon as I fucking posted this bullshit. Who the fuck is this? TGL React, 78k views three years ago. Are they even still making videos? No. I bet they're a fucking dead shit. They're not. They're not. They're still making videos. But it's just... Oh, it just... Why can't my fucking openings and endings go? Loser behavior. Loser behavior. Complaining about views is loser behavior. You can't control that. All you can do is just try to get lucky. Try to make good content and that's it. But it's just... <sighs> Maybe because I'm capped and not being the three-month boost? That makes no sense. It has nothing to do with that. It's just... We gotta let it cook more, man. But uh, it would be nice. It would be like... None of my videos ever actually go truly viral. It, it'd be nice to have these fucking openings and ending do what's supposed to do. But hey, it is what it is. Hey, let's look at a series that's performing bad. Osan, newbie adventurer. When you look at a weekly series and look at the amount of likes it gets, like right below it is an essay episode, right? 218. This is the rough of Bark Park. Like 538 or V0, right? 538 is V0, this is community series, but I don't think this is really my complete community. I think that SAO is more closer to a realistic. I think somewhere between 200 and 300 likes is my community. The 538 is a mixture of my community and a bunch of tourists that's appreciating the V0 content. But when you get something half that, it's doing pretty bad. Let's look at it. All of a sudden, Adventure honestly started to fall off quite a long time ago. And... Personally, I'm enjoying the story. It's it's just boonga boonga fun. It's not supposed to be complex. It's just entertaining, power fantasy, but a lot of people are getting bored with it. I may have to drop this next week if this continues, but it's not too big of a deal to take hits like this, but we'll let this cook over the next week. Next up, glad to see that these videos, anything with ReZero is slapped on as well. Let's look at the Tower of God episode. So let's compare Tower of God. How many likes did I get? 301. Great. 300 likes, right? 325 here, which is actually crazy. That a random fucking video about a random isekai did that well, but... This is definitely above the average community likes, right? If 200 is kind of like the community's... Like Tower of God is doing well. It's not the best, but it's definitely above expectations. I'm very happy about it. Let's look at the audience. Yeah, all just returning viewers. Hard to ever, you know, get exposed to a bunch of new audience with these kind of videos. But hey, these the purpose of these videos are to hit my existing audience and deliver what they want. This video was crazy. So sometimes I have a Discord where I ask people, you know, basically right over here. We got a Discord that you can join if you're on stream. And we have a stream reaction section where people post videos about things that, you know, that I could react to on here. And this was one of those videos. And we checked it out to bait or something. Supposed to be a fucking amazing Korean webtoon that's supposed to be on that Mushoku Tensei level of writing and beyond. I don't fucking know where it got 5,000 views, 325 likes. Fucking amazing. Let's see it. Let's check it out. God damn. So, I think we'll have to let this go for a bit more, but notice this little spike here. This is interesting. Anytime that a graph doesn't just plateau like this and has a little bit of resurgence means that the algorithm realized that, oh, your video did pretty decent. We're gonna try it out with a different audience too. Just kind of experimenting here. 5,000, right? Right now, I don't think there's enough new people coming in compared to what the graph is showing us. But I bet you, this is not, this is still Monday 12th, August 2012, like right, August 12th right here. If you look at the date of when this shit popped off, this is still data up to here. Who knows about this data? I bet you this spike here is actually way more new people showing up. So I think that the purpose of this video, it was just a random video we checked out, but I think a lot of new people were exposed to my channel because of videos like this, which is great. Now, let's see. People love these chart videos, man. These chart videos do fucking good no matter what, dude. ReZero actually broke me, not a lie. 746 likes. Oh, yes. People love it when I cry. It was also just a peak episode, right? People love this shit. But 
even if the people love this shit, it's just, ah, man, I want completely new people showing up, but it's so hard to do it, right? It's still 50-50 split right down the line, and it's perfectly fine. It's still fine, right? I'm getting greedy for trying to get new people showing up in every video, but this video has done its job. It's pretty fucking good. 7.5, it's gonna keep climbing too, right? This is still only first two days of performance. Like, what's gonna happen later on, right? So just keep letting it cook, and... By the time it's fucking October, it's gonna get more views. That's the thing you guys don't know, right? You think that the views stop here? Nah. High school DXD, bro. Like, if you look at my high school DXD video, look at this shit. Let's go to videos. Let's go to most popular. Dude, this, this shit is still climbing slowly. Same with this, right? And that's the beauty of YouTube. That the views are just gonna keep trickling in. And it's just passive income where old videos are still generating revenue despite it not being, you know, recent videos. And that's even more exaggerated when you have V0 that's going to be airing in season three in October, right? And all those people are going to find my channel and they're going to see the playlist and they're going to realize, holy shit, that was the same shit with Data Live too. You ever think that Data Live would have ever reached 20K? No, that shit was hard stuck at like 3,000, 4,000 for the longest time. But as the new season happened and people realized that I made data live content, they find a playlist, they watch it, it starts to get more recommended to other people, right? It's all about a long game. Don't think about these videos, right? Don't think about each video getting roughly like 2,000 average viewership, right? No. What does it say over here? 1.3 mil per month right now, right? And it's still going up. And you would never imagine that a channel like mine with such a small sub count with such small average viewership, would ever have 1.3 mil views per month. I'm getting viewership right now compared to channels that's in the 100Ks right now, where they post a video like twice a day and each video like averages like 10K plus, right? Like we're able to get on that level purely because of the bulk of volume I post, right? Like for sure, I post a stupid amount of videos. But on top of that, it just goes to show that it's not a single video that's doing everything. It's just my entire library of 2,600 videos that's doing everything that makes up this number. Okay, next up. Let's look at... What? Uh, Wistoria honestly is pretty mid too. It's definitely got more likes than, uh, what's it called? Wistoria definitely got more likes than Osan Newbie Adventurer, but it's just... Not as good as I hoped compared to the beginning. Doesn't mean it's bad, but you can see that it's just like, eh, just barely hanging along, right? I'm not gonna drop it. I enjoy it. It's just the audience seems to have gotten bored of it. Next up. Another ReZero episode. I'm actually surprised this one did really well. The special ending of Too Many Losing Heroines, bro. I didn't think that the Too Many Losing Heroines video, like, this the special ending would do well. But, again, opening endings are kind of like a... It's really easy to watch because it's short form content, but sometimes some openings and endings just have no interest at all. Most of it is from YouTube search. That's interesting. Look at this shit. Let's look at the... Yeah. So the reason why this time YouTube search is the predominant way of people have people find the video. And I'll guarantee you that this one, the actual episode of Too Many Losing Heroines is not going to be the same. Right? Let's look at the breakdown. Right? All the recommendations. Right? Let's look at the reach. Where is no YouTube search here? Why is it all browse features and suggested videos here? But this one gets YouTube search. Well, because sometimes there's specific videos that people are seeking out, like special endings, specific openings. In that case, because people are typing through the search engine to find it, that's what's going to happen. But bulk of my videos, pretty much everyone on YouTube, if you need to rely on the search engine to get your views, you've already failed as a YouTuber. Now, there's exceptions when you're like a guide channel. If you're like a guide or a tutorial on specific model of specific products, that makes sense. But the recommendation system is your best friend and that's all you really fucking need, right? And this is kind of shown here. Too many losing heroines, man. I am so, so happy that this anime is here. I was kind of worried that there was a lot of mid animes this season and there are. And there's a lot of waning interest, but out of fucking nowhere, this show shows up and we eek each week after week has been profound. It's been fun. It's also been very <laughs> heated, right? My reactions towards, you know, <laughs> Anna is very mean, but hey, 
it's all for content at the end of the day, and I think that uh, it's definitely one of the better performing series in my channel. Next up, bro, the power scaling video. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking power scaling video, 323 likes, bro. Let's check it out. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, dude. People are mad. I wonder if there's new people showing up. So how do people find this video? Mostly through browse features, right? Recommendation system. If you look at the audience, surprisingly, all my existing audience. I thought that the power scaling videos would reach out to a different community of mentally ill people trying to compare their favorite 2D characters that and explain why they are stronger than others, but just discussions on power scalings are always so volatile and it's always so fucking fun. I don't want to do more content about it. I definitely am going to do more content about power scaling. Next up, mm, tends to any news as always does well. There's some other random topics that I like to check out. And even if videos like this does not do well, I think that it's important to still experiment with different types of videos and try to see a different audience to show in. It can't be too far from my anime niche, but I think that a Japanese, I think that this is a topic that many of my young audience can relate to. Not even if they aren't Japanese, right? But regarding working conditions and lifestyles in a nutshell. Let's see, let's see, let's see. ReZero just killing it as usual. More power scaling. Let's see. There's a specific video that I wanted to check out. Oh, well, there's Perry, actually. Here, let's look at Perry. Well, we can check out Failure Frame and Perry. So here's Failure Frame, and here's Perry. The so Failure Frame, actually one of the better performing series in this, in this season. And it's so fucking mid, the anime. It is. The story's getting a little bit better, but the animation just makes it fucking hard to give it a chance. I hear a lot of people are saying like, man, the manga is actually so fucking good, the light novel is so good, but like the animation is just so fucking botched. The CGI is fucking scuffed as hell, but I do enjoy the main character and how he like always baits me with this pussy talk. And I'm like, oh my God, then he does something crazy. And I guarantee you the engagements, I'm surprised. I thought that you horn dogs, the engagement wouldn't spike here. The engagement here is spikes where I figure out, yeah. Yeah. Right? But I thought that the engagement would spike here. <laughs> the feet. I thought that people would only click for the feet. Uh, and, and there is a spike. There's a relative spike compared to before, right? But I thought that a peak like this would happen here. <laughs> so you guys aren't that down bad as I thought. And let's look at this. And yes, all my existing audience. Let's look at the Perry anime. Perry again. It's just doing all right. It's not amazing. It's not terrible. I think it survives. Anytime that you have low performing, like once you're out of this typical period two times in a week, you're fucking cut, right? And Perry, yeah, it's just meh. It's just meh. It's just mid performance. Roshtere. And here's the fucked up thing, man. This Roshtere episode still got 7,000 views where literally nothing fucking happened. This. Oshinoko video was possibly one of the best Oshinoko episodes and still Roshitere nearly 2x the viewership. Isn't that fucked up? How messed up is that? That a bad episode of Roshitere in terms of performance is still 2x a peak episode of Oshinoko. What is up with that? What the fuck is going on? Well, I know what's going on. Tourists got filtered off of Oshinoko. And there's a lot more people that can enjoy Roche today without having watched prior seasons. And that's just, it's just numbers. Let's look at these videos, man. Let's look at Roche today. God fucking damn it, bro. It's just stupid how well this shit does, bro. What in the fuck? The peak of the graph is actually different sections. Multiple sections. Let's look at Yuki, right? Yuki and Alia scene here. And this scene is probably, what is this scene? Little Alia? Date. The parfait? Oh, I see. I said someone's about to get banned. And it's, huh. Me simply saying someone's about to get banned because someone asked, are we watching this later? Has elicited enough people to click onto it. I'm surprised. I thought the YouTube audience wouldn't care about that shit. That's interesting. 
But you gifted subs. Fuck. <laughs> oh, right. It's the guy that, like, donated bits or something that asked a stupid question. Is it fair for me to not ban someone even though they broke the rules because they just <laughs> to on the channel? <laughs> it's crazy that the peak of this reaction is something that I made without relying on the content. You know what I mean? This is not Yuki saying something crazy. This is not Alia fan service. This is me having a, uh, a difficulty in choosing, you know, should I ban this guy or not? And people enjoy that shit. So, all right, that's, that's like a dub, I guess. All right, over here. Yeah. Remember, whenever I go to this tab, returning viewers being high is fantastic. It's just, we want the new viewers to also be rising. This is okay, though. Now, let's look at the Oshinoko video, bro. And compare this shit, right? 353 likes for the Oshinoko video. 620 for Reinhard. 243 and he's cut content. 335 for an Ant Reinhard fucking short break time video. Roche Data getting 410 likes. It's just... On another level, bro. But the Oshinoko, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy that Oshinoko fan people did show up for this. Let's check it out. Is there a specific moment that it spiked? Most likely the melt scene at the very end, right? Yeah. Everything started to spike more and more as we got to the melt scenes over here. If you look at the audience tab, a little bit more new people showing up. But hey, this is pretty much what we expect in a typical graph, right? Pretty decent, you know, watch duration. Yeah, this, this episode was a dub. It's just that comparatively to some other shit like fucking Sword Saint Reinhardt doing this crazy shit. This, this episode 3, bro. I... Damn, people like... I said that I hope ReZero doesn't peak here, but I'm fine if it does. Because like, episode 7 was so emotionally impactful, but my favorite episode still is episode 3. And I'm sure there's gonna be other episodes in the future that are just as sad or emotionally traumatizing. But episode 3, bro, bro, episode 3 was so fucking amazing, man. Let's look at the reach here. Most of the people finding me obviously through recommendations, right? <laughs> what the fuck? 7.1% of my total traffic is from msn.com. <laughs> Random ass fucking, you know, search engine going on over here. Let's look at the audience tab. Yeah, just complete new people. Sorry, complete returning people. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, this video, man. I mean, all these videos are probably going to hit 10k by the time, you know, October hits. But I'm very, very happy at every ReZero performance. I thought that, like... So... Here, I will, um... Just bring up a quick example of Dangers in My Heart, right? So let's look at Dangers in My Heart here. So, I think Dangers in My Heart is a pretty good uh, reference of what my existing community is. Very steadfast, sorry, sorry, very uh, stable, 3,000, right? A community series should be reaching between two to 3,000 views or with around 200 to 300 likes. Like, this is very consistent. But, like, you look at fucking ReZero, right? You look at fucking ReZero and the likes are just on another level. And it makes sense because obviously I'm tapping into an existing community that is not necessarily mine just yet. Dangers in my heart, we were just pretty much in our little bubble. But I think that ReZero is bringing a lot more audience in. And I need to do a good job in terms of offering them a good experience through these reactions. But to give them a reason to stick around afterwards or else it just becomes like a revolving door. And that's why, again, I'm prioritizing these SAO videos to be pumped out so that we can pull for our existing community. And in terms of, I guess, you know, ReZero, look at this shit. Episode 1 content. It's been a long time, right? It's been a long time. We've, we've, we, this has been cooking for about a little over a week now. Now, let's check out episode 1 stats, right? 13,000, 1,054 likes. Let's check it out. Views are six times higher than usual. Oh, yeah, baby. 90 subs. Not bad. Not bad, right? So let's look at this. How long did people actually watch it? There's actually not a gray bar here of reference point for previous engagement because uh, this is a one hour, 22 minute video. And I don't really make videos this long. Therefore, there's no relative other videos to compare it with. 
But an average duration of 16 minutes, I think it's decent. I think it's pretty decent, right? If you look at the revenue, obviously the RPM here is going to be much higher than my others. $3 is pretty good. My RPM is usually between $1 to $2, but the RPM is higher because obviously it took a longer video. People are watching it for a longer time. Let's look at the reach. And 8% is search engine, most different browse features, obviously because viewership, only thing that matters, use the recommendation system. Most people, they do not utilize, they don't just go here and just do e zero episode one reaction. Some people do, some people do, but the vast majority of people do not, you know, click onto these videos. What most people do is they're just on their homepage and they get served the fucking video. And they're like, oh, this is an interesting thumbnail. I'm just, I'm just gonna click on this one, right? That, that's what's happening. So if you look at the engagement, the audience, I, I was hoping that more people would show up, right? Again, I was really banking on like complete new audience showing up with by starting a new series, but that was not the case, but it's not bad. Like for sure, ReZero has been a successful project. It's just that I'm so greedy, right? My greed knows no bounds. I have a very high ego and I'm always trying to fucking get the next best thing and this is satisfactory, more than satisfactory. But if only this shit went fucking viral, right? If only this shit went viral. But again, you can never bank on that. You can hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. And honestly, I'm not disappointed at this performance. That pride, yes, I've, I'm, I'm very egotistical. Like, I am, like, all the seven deadly sins, I definitely uh, have a lot of qualities that are uh, exemplified by those sins. I don't think it's a bad thing either. I, you guys treat these sins as, you know, bad things. If I didn't have the pride, I wouldn't have said in the beginning that I'm going to give you the best goddamn reason reactions, that I'm the React Messiah. Because I'm hyping myself up, because I'm propping myself up, not only does that give me a sense of self-confidence to deliver better content, but people also see the audacity and they are entertained by it. So you can use a sin and in a productive way, right? I'm also very greedy. But that greed allows me to be hungry for more and for me to work harder, right? Greed isn't a bad thing if you know how to control it and use it in a productive way, right? I'm very... Like, like name any sin and you, there are ways to be productive with those sins. It's just, you can't just be all in on that thing, you know? But ReZero, it did its job. It's just, I was hoping for just a bit more. But you know what? It is what it is. And I think that's pretty much it in terms of the different videos that I want to cover. I know there's some other random shit here, but I just mostly want to cover ReZero and how the performance is going. The opening reaction here, where is it actually? Actually, there's, there's one more, right? There, there's one more. Let's look at the ReZero opening reaction here. Let's see if that tapped in. What about the OG trailer ReZero? <laughs> that was such a long time ago. I was, I was farming ReZero before this shit even started. Where is it? There's that, and there's this. 726 likes. Let's look at this guy. Ah. It's still rising, right? And the good news about this is that it's not plateauing, right? And even here, it's still not plateauing. Remember, the data live videos didn't just start off with 20K off the bat, remember, right? These videos never just hit 28K from the beginning. It takes time to slowly go up if there's traction. So these videos, I think, will continue to climb and continue to climb, and I'm very happy with that. Let's look at the audience, though. Definitely more new people, though, right? Definitely more new people showing up relative to the other videos. And again, openings are a great way to introduce a new audience because no one needs to have watched the previous episodes to understand what's going on. They're just here to enjoy the fun openings and the soundtracks, right? That's why trailers and openings are great for that kind of stuff. But again, not exactly what I'm looking for, right? Not exactly what I'm looking for. But hey, it is what it is. And all I can do is put my head down and grind and put myself in a position to be lucky. But hey, that is it for this week's performance review. I will see y'all next time.